Hey guys, we have another video to share with you from our latest trip to St. Petersburg. We did another quick little boat tour that we wanted to show you. This is a tour of a Pacific Seacraft Pilot House 32. It's pretty unique. They didn't really make too many of these, so we're pretty excited to show you this tour. This is our boat now. Oh my god. <laughs> First thoughts? It's a really interesting looking boat, uh, especially because of this pilot house or deck salon area. It's different looking because we actually have been around other Pacific Sea crafts of similar size that didn't have this, so it's just very interesting to see it. Um, I also noticed right away this device here, which is actually a radar mount that like swivels around the back say and I noticed it right away because we've actually looked at um, getting one of these for our wind generator we thought about would that work for our wind generator which the general consensus was probably not yeah I, thought, I, don't, I still think it's a cool idea but anyways off topic so nice cockpit super clean actually and the deck looks like it's in pretty good shape the gel coat it looks really good yeah what do you think of the helm very nice. Got your GPS, wind instruments, autopilot. Has some speakers. They've seen better days, but. Yeah. That's interesting. I think this whole cover actually lifts up. I don't think it's a tank. Ready? Yep. No. It's oh, it's a, it's a propane, propane locker. locker. The teak along the sides are also, like the tow rail is really nice. Oh, it has nice boards actually looking down that way we've got some engine controls take a look very similar to how ours is set up except we don't we don't have this but similar size Yeah, that looks like maybe a hot water heater. We've got winch one, two, three, and four. Lots of winches. Yep. I can actually stand under this bimini. Yeah. I mean, I'm not that tall, but that's nice. Yeah, and then above the bimini, there's some solar panels too with that radar. So let's go forward and then we'll go down below. So it is kind of narrow because of a pilot house that's one. but you have but something you have a nice handle and yeah the lifelines are double lifelines and they're a good height too i feel like they're kind of taller than normal right? yeah they are a little taller than normal so you got good security going forward you got a stack pack with lazy jacks for the main sale you can tell though this deck is really well taken care of like, yeah this boat's really good well maintained look at how high those bulwarks are in. i know I noticed as I was looking from the back, it's nice. And the stanchions are attached to the bulwark instead of the deck, so you have more room for your feet. This deck is very solid too. Instead of Samson post, it has two large cleats here and more centered in the deck, which is interesting. Yeah, there's an electric winch, dual bow rollers. Furling, head sail. Very, very nice. Your feet aren't gonna fall off this deck. No, it's really <laughs> nice. And I mean, nice it's a hot there. day and it's really not that hot either, the yeah. decking. Uh, stainless steel, looks like port lights. Let's, um, let's pull that off. off, yeah. We're going to pull this off so that you guys can see out when we go in. So the boat comes with covers for everything, which is, which really is nice. nice, you know that. Yeah, all the hatches have covers on them, which is nice. Everything's being protected. And it all matches the sail pack and everything. Moving aft. So you've got almost like a door here, but you do have like a companionway hatch, a door, and then a hatch or you could take out as well, but I'm just going to leave it in for now. This is cool. It's 
So it's only two steps down, so it's barely yeah. a step down at all. This is nice. So on watch, you have 360 degree view. This is an elevated seat that you can sit at. I mean, you're like dangling. There's yeah. a little step there. Um, and I would consider this a true pilot house because yeah, so you, you have actually have a home here. A real home. Very cool. So you've got your autopilot again, GPS again. This looks like you've got a spot for any other wind instruments or something that you might want. Compass, engine controls. VHF. Something. <laughs> nice hatches so you can get a breeze in, which would be nice. Very cool. Little eating area behind you. The cabin sole is in really good shape. Yeah. Everything's in good shape. Yeah. So yeah, you got your, your dining table. It looks like that actually folds away or something. Too. Yeah, that would that's gonna that would fold down so I can go out of the oh, way. Oh, I bet this becomes a berth. Yep. Yep. And then that's a berth too. So this is kind of a quarter berth. Yeah. So your legs go through here. If you want to crawl in the hole. <laughs> Let's see what's down below. So we found the engine. It's below the pilot house. Very clean engine. Looks like a Yamar. Very very nice. Yeah, that looks in very good shape. Good access. Yeah, this whole part comes out too if you need to access the side. Yeah. This whole area comes out. Sweet. We got the floor put back together. Let's go forward. We got a few storage compartments in here. The AC is pumping out nice. And you got your distribution panel here as well. You actually have some light and battery controls yeah. on there as well. For a 32 foot boat, this boat is fully loaded. Yeah. All right, you got your gimbal, stove, sink, I'm going to guess refrigerator, or refrigerator, yeah, old plate, that is a old microwave. <laughs> <laughs> that could be replaced. <laughs> and then, I don't know if this is just a trash bin, probably, some sort of bin there. What else? It's a nice little, it's a small nook, but it's a nook. Yeah, I mean... It's the compromise you yeah. make. It's a little small because of having compression post. Yeah, pilot house. So right here, you've got a full wet head. It's a pretty good size, you know. Actually, even it is. It's not a separate shower, but it's a good size wet head. And then we have the beaver. It's probably about the same size as ours, I would say. I would say so, yeah. I actually, we looked at the same mattress on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Someone, I think, custom made this. Uh, yeah, so she was living aboard yeah. for our previous owner. I'm noticing the headliner is that zipper type where you can access if there's like things that are screwed through the deck on the other side, they should be under the zipper so you yeah. can maintenance them. Yeah, the Ericsson has the same thing. Yeah, and then it has looks like two hanging closets up here, one on each side which is nice. Storage under the V-Birth as well. Alrighty, I think that's it. Yeah. Pretty good boat. Yeah. How many port lights are there? There's a few. There's a lot one, of port two, lights. Two, three, four, five. There's probably one in the head. There's gonna be six, and then these. And then the big ones. Yeah, and then the lower ones too. There's lower and uppers. And the same kind of vinyl zipper headline in the pilot house. Yeah. So I'm in the V-Birth now, and I'm just gonna go Back through the boat, continuous. The galley. The wet head. The pilot house. Interior helm station. Quarter berth. Dining room table. <laughs> Cellar room table. Companion way. Out to the cockpit. So what'd you think, Randy? Um, I thought it was interesting. I, we've obviously never been on a pilot house that's this small, and I think it was because we were also touring a lot of larger boats recently, but it, it did feel a little bit small and choppy to me. 
Um, but really, the boat's well outfitted and really well maintained, which yeah. is nice. So I guess if you're looking for a smaller, capable pilot house, this was a good boat. Yeah, I mean, and Pacific Seacraft has a really good pedigree for making really high quality boats, good offshore blue water cruisers. Yeah. So aside from the size, which for a lot of people could be a good thing. I mean, yes. I, I think to be honest, if you're a single handed sailor or you're a couple, it's, it is a really good size. It's a very manageable boat. I mm. imagine. I imagine it sails well, single handed or short handed. Yeah. And it's in really, really good shape. It's really well outfitted. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's ready to go. Compared to Freebie, the size was almost identical. I mean, yeah. the length overall, the beam, it was kind of just like Freebie in a lot better condition with a pilot house. Pacific Seacraft boats was and still are because they're still being built very, very high quality boats. So they definitely hold their value well. The asking price for this boat as well as the information for the broker that has this boat listed is gonna be in the description below in case you're interested and you want some more information. Something we also wanted to mention was our friends Kirk and Lauren of Sailing Solianas have developed a boat buying dashboard. It's an online tool that you can use if you're looking into buying a boat. It puts a lot of information into one place so you're not having to search many different areas. We wanted to go ahead and mention it because it is a very useful tool if you are in the market to buy a boat, which I know some of you guys are. So we're gonna put a link to that in the description below so you guys can check it out. As always guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, go ahead and ring that notification bell. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it